Hi everyone and thanks for watching my online lesson on reading and comparing box plots. So in these questions they'll either give you two box plots together to read like in this example or sometimes they'll give you one box plot and the first part of the question will be to draw the second box plot for yourself and then compare them. So this question says, what is the highest mark in the English test? This is quite a basic question. We should know that the lines on the box plots mean different things. So this line here is the lowest value recorded. This is the highest value. This line inside the box is the median. And then this is the lower quartile and upper quartile. So the highest mark in the English test is this line here. And if I follow down to my scale, it's 50. So the highest mark recorded in the English test was 50. The second part of this question says compare the distributions of the marks in the English test and the marks in the maths test. And they're asking for two comments. Now you need to know what the examiner's looking for here. And they're looking for you to make the first comment about the medians and the second comment about either the ranges or the interquartile ranges. So you can't just comment and say what the medians are. We need to write what these medians tell us. So if you look at the medians of the English and Math scores, it's clear that the median score for English is much higher than the median score for Maths. The median score for English is 38 and the median score for Maths is 27. So this shows us that on average, the scores for English were better than for maths. So I'm going to write English has a higher median. And I'm just going to put in brackets what that is, which is 38 than maths. And maths is 27. So on average, English marks are better. That's my first comment. My second comment then is going to be about the ranges or the interquartile ranges. Usually it's easiest to work with the range. So if I look at the range for English, the highest mark is 50 and the lowest mark is 15, which is just there. So the range of the English scores is 50 take away 15, which is 35. Now I need to work out the range of the math scores. So the highest math score was 44, and the lowest math score was 12, which gives me a range of 32. So there's not much difference between their ranges, but the maths range is slightly smaller. And the range shows me how consistent the results were. So if I have a small range, the results will be consistent. If the range is a large range, then um, the results are less consistent or inconsistent. Or we can say more varied. So my second comment, I'm just going to delete what I've written here about the median. So I'm going to write maths range, which is 32, is smaller than the English range. of 35 showing maths results are more consistent or I could say less varied. So that last question covered comparing box plots. This one covers a little bit more on reading them. So this box plot is about the distribution of weights of bags on a plane. And the first question says, Jean says the heaviest bag weighs 23 kilos. 
she is wrong, explain why. So again, this is a simple question. If we look here, this is the highest value recorded. So this is our heaviest bag. It's actually 29 kilos. The 23 that Jean has read is this line here, which represents the upper quartile. So I'm going to write that um, 23 kilos is the upper quartile and I'm also going to write what the actual answer is so I'm going to put 29 kilograms is the heaviest bag. Next question says write down the median weight so the line in the center of the box shows me the median so that's this line here so the median weight is 17 Again, a nice simple question. The next one's slightly harder. It says work out the interquartile range. So I need to find the upper quartile and take away the lower quartile. So the upper quartile is this 23. The lower quartile is 10. So I'm going to do 23, take away 10. So my interquartile range is 13. This last question is slightly trickier. It's expecting you to understand what the lower quartile, what the median, what the upper quartile are actually showing you. So this says there are 240 bags on the plane. Work out the number of bags with a weight of 10 kilograms or less. So if you look at the 10 kilogram mark, it's actually the lower quartile. Now the median represents where 50% of the bags are. So the median is the middle. The upper quartile is our three-quarter mark and our lower quartile is our quarter mark. So the lower quartile is telling me that a quarter of the bags weigh 10 kilograms or less. So I've just got to work out what one quarter of 240 is. So I'm going to divide by four. So there are 60 bags that weigh 10 kilograms or less. If this question was how many bags have a weight of 17 kilograms or less, that would be half, so that would be 120. The number of bags with a weight of 23 kilos or less would be three quarters, so that would be 180. Thank you for watching.